Hello, and welcome to what's new in the October 2022 Microsoft Game Development Kit. The Microsoft GDK is a complete set of tools, APIs, extensions, and programming models that can be used across current and future Microsoft gaming platforms and initiatives. The design and features of the GDK are driven by your feedback about how you like to develop games. We're on a journey that goes back decades. With every release of the GDK, we take a step closer to a world where developing games for Xbox or PC Game Pass on Windows 11 and Windows 10 is faster and easier, no matter where you started your development. The key features and fixes that are highlighted in this video are just a handful out of dozens, a mix of improvements for PC and Xbox development that speed up iteration times or give developers more powerful tools to optimize their game experiences. Most importantly, many of these features are the direct result of developer requests. In addition to many bug fixes, this release includes the following new features. Enhancements to custom game resolution control when using Xbox game streaming. In the October GDK, developers can now customize the resolution and aspect ratio of their games to match the aspect ratio of devices. With this new feature, developers can use more of the player's screen by removing the black bars that appeared around their games. This significantly improves gaming experiences when Xbox games are streamed to tablets or phones. They can now render at other aspect ratios besides 16 by 9. Using this feature with the Direct Capture APIs in the October GDK also reduces game latency. This automatically minimizes server latency for compatible frames. Xbox games can now control TCP reception kernel memory usage. Exclusive for the Xbox GDK, developers now have greater control over their programmatic in-game downloads. In this release, the temporary kernel memory that can be used for incoming TCP data payloads is allocated from the title memory partition instead of the system partition. Titles can now trade off more peak memory use for higher TCP slash HTTP download concurrency and efficiency without affecting core system stability. New X networking functions provide visibility and control with this type of TCP kernel memory consumption. Developers can use these new functions to specify the upper bound limits and monitor usage. Unity plugin upgrade. We've implemented a major change that makes development between Unity and the GDK faster than ever before. In the PC version of the GDK, developers can now see their changes directly in the Unity editor without any additional steps. This means that you no longer need to package builds prior to testing them. This feature is now available in the March 2022 GDK and later versions. Global Keyboard Support For our global game development partners, we're happy to announce that the October GDK now has official global keyboard layout support. We've also made several keyboard input enhancements and implemented force feedback bug fixes. Improved Game Development Experiences We've implemented an array of features that make it easier for developers to develop games by using the GDK. Games planning to ship on all Xbox consoles and PCs running Windows 11 and Windows 10 can take advantage of the common APIs in the GDK. With this release, we've improved the development experiences across a number of areas. For developers porting games from other marketplaces, these improvements help shorten the time and increase the number of critical features they have access to right out of the box. Sustainability changes to the Xbox Series X dev kit front panel display. As part of our commitment to sustainability, the June GDK added a new power load counter to the PIX timing captures feature to help developers track their title's overall power draw. This counter was designed so that developers could make targeted changes to help reduce the overall power use of their console titles. However, it previously required running PIX to continuously monitor power load. In the October GDK, we've added those same counters to the front panel screen on the Xbox Series X dev kit in two locations, the dev kit default front panel screen and a new dedicated screen with an animated graph showing the power load. These screens are accessible to all GDK users, including those who don't typically use PIX. Multiple PIX timing capture enhancements. Since 2017, the GDK has included PIX, our robust performance tool for Windows and Xbox game developers who are using DirectX 12. One of the core features in PIX, Timing Captures, gives developers helpful insights into the performance of all the CPU and GPU work that's carried out by their game. In our latest update, we've made the PIX Timing Captures feature more powerful by introducing a number of important improvements that are designed to provide deeper analysis for optimizing game performance and memory use. These changes significantly improve tuning and debugging tasks, resulting in faster, more efficient game development. 
We hope that you've enjoyed learning about some of the new features in the October 2022 GDK. This video has just a few of the many investments that we make in every GDK release to help our development partners succeed. To learn more, take a look at our public GDK documentation at aka.ms slash gamedevdocs, experiment with our public version of the GDK at aka.ms slash GDK, or if you're ready, join the ID at Xbox program at xbox.com slash developers slash ID today.